But I think she's mulatto. You think she's mulatto? I think she. Mixed. I think she gotta be. I think she gotta be. I think. I think her dad black and her mom is mixed with black and white. Look, and, and plus, look, look who she picked for a husband. Like, you know, there's a light, a, a, a there's a light skinned uh, mixed girl somewhere built just like Jessica Rabbit. Chasing after some flavor flave looking rabbit motherfucker. You feel well, me? Well, you know what? Yes, I do feel you because but she's thing. but she love that nigga though. Like she love that dude. Well, think of Megan Fox and Shia LaBeouf in Transformers. That didn't make no sense. She was too fine for that goofy ass. He, but he had a Camaro. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, is that realistic though? You know what? Um, they, it's realistic like, because I'll say this because I know firsthand that personality is a motherfucker. CJ and your boy Tim back again with another Say It Loud podcast. Say It Loud. Black and proud. And we black and proud about it. What's going yeah. on yeah, with you? Uh, oh, nigga, man. if you don't get any bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's going, you know, it's, it's going all right. Um, Got some stuff done this week, man. Mm-hmm. I, I got the pages printed for my coloring book mm-hmm. that I'm doing. Um, mm-hmm. I think... Uh-oh. Yeah, I didn't have a lay a, a rollout of how I was gonna release it, but I got an event this weekend, so they're gonna be available this weekend officially. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, man. So that's exciting. I got you. I got you. I got you. I had an idea for uh, I, I told you I was telling you earlier I had an idea for a show I wanted to shoot. Yeah. And I because I was I was watching um I was in a mood to watch hood movies. You feel me? Yeah. Sure. I was in a mood. You know what I'm saying? So. I went back and I was watching Menace to Society, right? Now, no, watching this this movie, just because we're speaking about it, watching this movie then is a whole different experience than watching it now. You know what I'm saying? Watching it when we were kids? Yeah, like if you've seen this movie when, when it came out and you just happen to be, you know, a kid to a teenager and you watching this shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, when, that's when I saw it. Yeah, I saw you know it. What I'm saying? So I was kid. sitting there and I was watching it. Now I was like... I can quote it like I love this movie, but I started thinking like, because I have because I have white friends like I have a lot of white friends mm-hmm. and most of them have mostly black friends and they know about the hood movies. But what about the ones that don't? You know what I'm saying? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to sit down with a couple of my closest friends who just so happen to be Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? Who have not seen this movie or dug into this part of the culture? Period. And just watch this movie and just get their reactions and. You know, have conversations during it. You know what I'm saying about yeah. how what they go through. Like, is this movie even considered a part of like your like favorites and why? You know what I'm saying after watching it. You know what I'm saying just to get their reaction. First of all, I, that's a loaded question with favorites, and not not for you in particular. In general, if somebody sees something for the first time, it's not fair to ask them if it's their favorite. Because you people gotta process movies sometimes. Right. A movie be a whole thing. So maybe that won't be one of the questions, but I just, just want to get their genuine reaction. If it comes um, yeah. natu- if it comes naturally to them, all well. Yeah. I think uh I think that's a great idea um, mm-hmm. if you have a a group of people who have not seen it. No, I do. It. No, I have a, I have a yeah. list. I have a I have a going list of people who've never seen it. So I So wanna... what's your what's your ultimate or is is it you just want the re- is it a reaction? It's it's want? it's that, but also or is there like a goal? it's it's a it's a goal. It's a general goal to get some appreciation with this part of American culture. Like these these people who have not seen this movie but get some sort of like what their general reaction is and if they can even give it like appreciation, you know what I'm saying? For the for the movie it is. You know what I mean? Okay. So so you're 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 trying to do your 
part in spread the word of hood movies. Something too. like that. It's something like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I mean, no, I, and I'm not bagging. I but it's like just, that. I've always loved those type of shows, that those reaction yeah. shows. And I just want to, I want this to be mine. You so know what would saying? this be, so, okay. And y'all are seeing a production meeting, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so would it be like. You want to watch the whole movie through and then have a conversation afterwards, or watch the scene no, and then stop it, and talk. That's 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 what I'm trying to think. Like, should I get like key scenes of the movie? But we'll see. But, but thing, that's, that's the, the thing. thing. If you're doing key scenes and they ain't seen the whole movie, you need context. That's that what I'm need. saying. So I would you could have the opportunity to like pause the movie and like talk about what they just saw like on the fly. You know what I'm saying? Because we because we black people we do it. We just don't pause the movie. You feel me? <laughs> we talk all through that bitch. Yeah. Um. So I was thinking, I, I got put on a board to do a movie review. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is. That is the sound of, of the men working, <laughs> working on the train. train. Oh, you know what I think is? Oh, oh, don't you know? Do I have to press anything? I hope not. I hope it doesn't make any more sound. Oh, don't you know? That's the sound of the man. Get back. Working on a train. Oh, I love that, I love oh, that movie. That's one of my favorite yeah, movies. Yeah, Cadence. Great, great movie. Um, That's weird. I just thought about that movie. I was thinking about Charlie Sheen for some reason. And I thought about him and that. Yeah, I was and watching. Doing, um, doing, trying to learn the steps. And I was like, I bet they was really trying to teach that. No, thing. I was watching uh, Hot Shots uh, the other day. Like, that's crazy. He was talking about, he was thinking about Charlie Sheen. I was actually watching the Charlie Sheen movie. Charlie Sheen. Is he dead? Because, no. you know, sometimes... No, I'm no, just saying. No. Has, have we checked the news? Because... <laughs> oh, like, is he dead for real? be thinking, <laughs> hey, bro, that be happening sometimes. Be like, man, Charlie Sheen on my head. He did. Charlie Sheen, low-key, probably top... Top 15 act, white actors of the 90s. I don't think of what Charlie Sheen movie I Ma- love Charlie Major Sheen Leagues. In. The Major League movies were my, 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 some of my favorite sports They were movies. okay. I, they weren't my favorite <gasps> series. They weren't my favorite series. Oh my gosh, bro. Wesley Snipes <laughs> cracked me up though when he went to slide and didn't make it all the way to oh, the yeah. base. He's like, come on, come on. That, that like, was so funny to me. But Major, Yeah, Major League is in my top five sports movies of all time. No. Yeah, it's in my top five. The the one of the major leagues or all of the major leagues? Just major league one. Okay, I'll about to say. Um, okay, well, okay, wait, let's get back to our product. Um, we can go back. Or to we that. can yeah. We can go back to that. Okay, so uh, what were you talking about? Um, oh yeah, the production meeting. Oh, so um, they getting their reactions. Yeah, I just want to get their their reactions to, you know, were they just like the, were they reactions that that we've had? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, like. Like, how would you feel at this age watching this? You know, oh, that's that, you know, that's what I was gonna say. Um, uh, so I was put on the board to do a, a panel. Uh huh. Um, and I did it for um, the hate you give. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I got put on, and it, this was before it came out, so mm-hmm. I got a private screener of it mm-hmm. and watched it, and then went to a mm-hmm. thing where. There was me and two other black folks, two right, ladies, right, and then a, 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 a auditorium, right, full of whites, mm. and uh, we had a discussion. But we had watched the movie through and then had a discussion afterwards. So, um, yeah, we didn't stop it every you know time something came up, but mm-hmm. I think people were in there taking notes because they came to have a discussion. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's a little different than what you're talking about. You may seem to want to be more intimate, um, <laughs> and yeah, but with questions like uh, you know, because it's an, I don't care how we slice it, right. it's not an appropriate movie for children to see. It's not, and it's that's not. when we saw it. It's not when we saw it though, right? <laughs> so and it's like, look, like, quiet you, is kept. Quiet is kept. None of these movies we talk about right now was for us no, <laughs> at that age. You know no. what I'm saying? Not, not at all. Nigga, your big cousin had to show had to show you the movies. You feel me? But yeah, I was please. I remember we was just at a family thing and put uh someone put on higher learning. My cousin put on higher yeah. learning. Yeah. Thing came on. Oh. And we just all there. It was just like, well, this doesn't seem like a family <laughs> thing. Right. <laughs> like, woo. But. Anyway, no, that's a, I think it's a great idea. Um, mm-hmm. You just want to 
set up exactly the structure. Yeah, on, no, that's what, what, what I was saying. I, I brought it up to say, you know, the um, I need to, uh, you know, to take the camera to the crib. You feel me? Got to get more cameras. Yeah. Donate to us, please. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that's what that's what I need. Like, I'll probably buy a camera myself, or if I can film it with my phone or whatever. I just gotta get the process down. So I'm just let, yeah. let you know that once I move, big shit pop in. Yeah. <laughs> Little things. And now would huh? this be so? Now would this the be prophet Ti said and put on YouTube, or yeah. are you gonna put it on the Patreon? Oh, uh, look, I will. Uh, I'll put it on YouTube normally. Okay, that's good. My the show I'm doing with my dad was the, gonna be on Patreon, but, but I the put director's it cut. I'll put on the Patreon. Oh, you gonna have to learn to edit. I will, I will, <laughs> okay. look, all right, I got you. I got you. No, for real, I got you. I got you. I'm saying, like, I I just want always wanted to do something like that. It seems very interesting to me to get different people's reactions to stuff that we grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And see if the parallels are there. Are there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because there's movies that you know white folks got that they shouldn't be watching either. You know what I'm saying? They they like some like to to that degree. Like there's movies we. Oh well, I mean, any gangster movie. Uh, uh, these hood movies ain't nothing but black westerns. <laughs> That's right. what the, the, a western is a gangster movie, mm-hmm. and mafia movies are gangster movies. They just mm-hmm. wear their clothes tighter. Right. That's what I was. Uh, <laughs> that's all I was saying. Yeah. Oh, and um, yeah, I put it. I was uh, uh, talking about that movie, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and how underrated it is. Is it underrated? It's severely, I think it's rated fine. Yo, know, it's it's severely underrated. Like it's it, that movie was ahead of its time for real. And I think it was ahead of its time, but I mean, I also this might be another uh, question for another episode. But Jessica Rabbit is yes. she is she white or is she mixed? She like a Mariah Carey, I think. But what? But like, she's to a what, sad like, mulatto. Is, is is she real? Is she really stacked like that naturally, or is that? Or is that like implant? Like, if that was a real person, if that was a real person, would she be? Would she does she because she had she had thick lips. Okay, I she would had say hips. This. You know, saying she didn't have a waist, but she had hips and she have she had big breasts. So what I'm saying is like she had all the she had all the features of a mixed woman, but she could very well be a natural redhead who's built like that. Uh, my opinion. What's your opinion? If she was a real person, she would be the chick. From, I'm gonna get you sucker. <laughs> okay, because let's just be real. Titties was fake. Pop them off. Her hair, the way look at Jessica Rabbit's hair. First of all, if she was in the army, she'd salute back here. Here's her hairline. Yes, sir. Okay, so didn't. none of that was real. No, not the hairline. Oh man, come on. Ooh. And 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 the booty pop she got on. The implant, nah, man, she fake, she fake, but I think she's mulatto. You think she's mulatto? I think she. Mixed. I think she gotta be. I think she gotta be. I think, I think her dad black and her mom is mixed with black and white. Look, and, and plus, look, look who she picked for a husband. Like, you know, there's a light, a, a, a there's a light skinned uh, mixed girl somewhere built just like Jessica Rabbit. Chasing after some flavor flave looking rabbit motherfucker. You feel well, me? Well, you know what? Yes, I do feel you because here's but she's the thing. but she love that nigga though. Like she love that dude. Well, think of Megan Fox and Shia LaBeouf in Transformers. That didn't make no sense. She was too fine for that goofy ass. He, but he had a Camaro. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, is that realistic though? You know what? Um, they, it's realistic like, because I'll say this because I know firsthand that personality is a motherfucker. Like, 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 really, you look at this though, like in real life emotions, not movie emotions. Yes, Megan Fox and Shia LaBeouf are they rolling around. In real life. Okay, they did right. Okay, <laughs> say they were like for real rolling around here with Optimus Prime in them. It's like fighting, uh, fighting Decepticons and saving the Earth and shit. Yeah. And at the end of that, do you really, honestly think that they're gonna fall in love after all that? Like, yeah. if, if you went through all that shit with some possum-looking female, and at the end of this, at the end of y'all movie, are you really gonna be like, man, we went through so much? I want to be your boyfriend now. I'm gonna tell you this: 
shared trauma can build something. <laughs> can it? Really? I believe it can. It's now, like in real whether life, you, though. Whether you take that path or not, that's on, that's on whether you choose to do that. But that actual feeling, once you've been through something with somebody, there is a connection there. And The, and the, the Walking Dead's a prime example of that, too, for, uh, with uh, Maggie. And uh, Leah, so that was a a goofy uh, goofy looking Asian dude going to fall in love and have a baby with uh, old girl, and she was to me in my, with my with how I rate people, how women she's she was bad <laughs> to me. Maggie was fine to me, okay. but this nigga Glenn over here, this scrawny Asian dude who looked like he was just delivered some pan fried rice somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I just feel goofy as a mug. You know what I mean? But, and they're connected, like, like, oh my gosh, like, would does see, it? Does, but, but, do the extremes have to be that extreme? Like zombie apocalypse, everybody's no, dead except Tim, for us. See, Tim, I gotta call. I got to call you on this. Can because, love really bloom in that atmosphere? Tim, Tim, let me tell you something. What you're doing right now, somebody could easily do to you. They could say he's a big dude, right? So I'm a realist. Why, so, so with that. Why would you look at a scrawny Asian dude and be like, oh, why? how could you pull something that bad? That's not realistic. Why is that not realistic? And the reason I'm, I'm passionate about this, like I said, I have first-hand experience. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to give it up. Yeah. But I have personally pulled some women and done some things with them that there's no reason. Uh-huh. I am a realist, too. Uh-huh. There's no reason in my mind why I should have pulled what I pulled. <laughs> but that's also why I say personality one is a motherfucker cuz you can you can be facially challenged and be a but funny motherfucker <laughs> panties off somebody. But also uh-huh. you don't ever know what somebody else is into. See what happens is we see these beautiful people. We uh-huh. see a Megan Fox uh-huh. or or fuck her. But uh what what's uh, what's uh Coco 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 Jones? Yeah. You, you, we oh see, yeah, we see Ooh. these beautiful people, right? Uh, and then we say in our minds, "Well, she wouldn't be with this kind of guy, that kind of guy, me kind of guy." You and know that's, that's how we point. perceive it all. That's we don't know point. what she's into. Right. You're right. I I, I received that comment. You yeah, right. you're absolutely right. Nah, man, nah, that's a good point. That, and that's why I'd be like, you could. Well, okay, wait. Let me preface this. <laughs> Read the room. But um, that's why I get, shoot your shot. You yeah. never know. Yeah. You never know. I did that. Don't I did, harass, but no, shoot. No, I did that one time. I was like, "How the hell did that happen?" <laughs> Same. Huh? I was like, hmm? "Had me, yeah." Is you the know. orange juice bad? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, feel me? and and in some, you know, and when uh, it no. comes to personal, some women just be into dude yeah. dad bods and all of that, and they there just be is like, "Yeah." A glitch in the matrix. <laughs> you know. But again, we 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 be like, well, you don't look like the typical female I feel is into me. Mm-hmm. You're way hotter than that, so I'm sure that's not we're not a thing. That's yeah. we'll uh, see. what I was telling you earlier. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll <laughs> say this much too. If I had, oh, hold on, hold on. Ah, ah, oh. shit. Ah. All right, go ahead, keep going. I'll say I'll say this. Um, if I had the confidence that I had now, then. I would have, in like in high school, I would have dated more. Uh, I would have a lot more dates than, because I wasn't bad. I was never bad looking. Because I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, I wasn't, I'm not really that bad looking of a dude. You feel me? Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. What's the difference? You know, because I look pretty much the same. So the difference is that personality and that confidence. It's how you carry yourself. Ex- um, ex- absolutely. And I, was, I was told that um, it was around my junior year. A couple things happened. Um, one, I had a couple, like, some of my older cousins, one of my older cousins, he was like, he just kind of watched me one day, we was kicking it. He just kind of looked at me, he was like, you know, CJ, you, you carry yourself different. Mm-hmm. You know, it was somewhere where I just, I, 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 I can't explain it, I was growing up, I carried myself different. And then uh, somebody told me, I remember it was fifth period, junior year, I don't remember the class, but it was fifth period. Mm-hmm. And walk in and this girl looks at me who I had known for a few years mm. and she said Chris uh, that's my name Chris uh, mm. she said Chris don't get a big head but you're you're cute <laughs> yeah. I mean and she had this like 
it's it, it's working. It's coming together. Like quizzical. I mean, I mean she was, <laughs> and, and I mean, I was just like, slow cheese started happening. I was like, oh, she's like, okay, don't even. I was like, no, nah, you didn't said it now. Started feeling my episode. You know, it was around junior year that I I, I started to change um, and get the confidence. I think I need. I've always had confidence. Senior but, you year, know, senior her, year was me. Let me tell you what happened. I'm not going. I'm not going to name names, but I'm walking down this senior year, right? I'm walking down the hallway, going to uh, to math class, I think. And she saw me. Now, like we, like we were like cool. Like I knew, I knew of her. She knew of me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm walking, and she runs, and she, a, and she a short, thick girl too. Like, and I, she jumped in my arms, and I caught her. So like at this, like I, I played football and yeah. I did track, and all I did was lift weights during junior senior year. So she jumped in my chest and I caught her in the air, and then she looked down at me. She, like I had her up here, and she looked down at me like this, and she was just like, "Oh damn!" <laughs> like she had this look like I ain't know you had it like that. I would have been like, "Bitch, what you expect that to mo- knock me over?" <laughs> that mo- I'm saying, but look, that moment I said, like. Yeah. My confidence, my my confidence, big bearded papa shit was like, oh, yeah. it's, it's that time. Okay, finally. Okay, that's where my confidence started to happen. You feel me? It. That I was that was my moment. I still think about that shit too. I was, I still, I still think about that. I dare somebody to run, jump at me in the hallway. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> no, that it, it was. This wasn't just. This so this wasn't just like. I mean, I get, I get, I get this, this was, scenario. I this just, was a pretty package of thick Samoan woman, and she jumped in my arms, and I caught her in midair. Well, I ain't never. First of all, you said key words there that I can't. You said a, a Samoan jump. Nah, oh, yeah. I don't care. Um, but I will say this about Samoan. <laughs> let's not let's not you. stand on ceremony, Mr. Wayne. You. Let's be real. These niggas be, these yeah. niggas let's these talk. niggas rival me. So <laughs> I'm you know. But with that in mind, I remember sophomore year. Hey, at Twin Tolo, sophomore oh. year. I don't know what it was about that dance that night, but the Samoan the Lady Samoan community was feeling your boy. Man. I mean, I was all, all hey, 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 get all of that, man. It was it was a great night. And then I I was feeling myself that I went to my sister who knew all these girls and I was like, yo, man, talk to your friends, you know, they feel and she was like, dude, it was a dance and, and you were dancing, so they danced <laughs> with you. Don't 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 take it to heart. <laughs> don't, uh, don't go don't do it why you gotta why you gotta, why you gotta hate on the player like that man you With up this, here why you gotta right bring, but why you gotta bring me back down man keep me up man i that's just crazy. started feeding for the next dance and you know i never danced with another small girl that's crazy <laughs> you stupid i remember my, my i remember my uh my twin tolo my outfit was i was fly my twin tolo bro oh my god Wait, had, you had a twin i had an eye show did okay. she know who she is What's happening? So like, we still friends to this day. Like I had my I had my black tee and I had a leather. My dad gave me a leather jacket and it fit me. Like I was like I was, and he took me to the barber shop. He got me lined up and shaved and shit. I looked like thick shaft up in that bitch. I was like, what's happening? Uh, I was feeling myself that day. I was like, ooh boy, big niggas is winning today. <laughs> Don't sleep. Yeah. Don't sleep, bro. Don't sleep. I remember. Well, my first dance, I went to a fully unprepared. I had a sweater on. Oh, it my was just gosh. Hot. Homecoming freshman year, just a thick-ass sweater and Timberland boots, fake Timberland boots. They they, they was from oh, Payless. Don't let me, tell, let me tell you about my damn. My mama had got me a FUBU baseball shirt. It was a yellow with blue writing baseball shirt, FUBU shit, and I walked that shit Every other week, and that that first dance after that shit, I was feeling like I was the flyest motherfucker up in there, boy. Uh, I feel. School dances were fun, bro. School dances like, were man. awesome. They were great, but they 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 were they just got you ready for the club, right? But if you were a dancer, anyway. Man, what what's the first what what's the first song you felt your first booty to? 
In what grade? And, well, shit. Like yeah. that slow dance come on at the school dance. What was the, that song that came on that you felt your first booty to? Slow dance? Yeah. Oh, feeling on your booty. Really? This is my song for <laughs> real, no doubt. Oh, wait. What if, no, bro, um, was it that? No, it wasn't that. I'm lying. Well, that would be that a was a song, song I liked to. And that's our R. Kelly song. See me not hating? <laughs> that, there are a couple R. Kelly songs I fuck with. That is one. Uh, no, I'm lying. It wasn't that. It was T-shirt in my panties <laughs> oh, yeah. on. Uh, yeah. That was the one. Uh, yeah. There were certain songs that set it off. It was that, Fill It On Your Booty. Those were the two slow ones. Then obviously back that ass up, um, and uh, yeah. there was a uh, mystical shake your ass, watch <laughs> yourself. Hey. Them four really like, hey, man. No, mine was uh, what was my that? my body all over your uh, body. Man. You know what? I don't feel like they played that at Franklin. Oh, they played that. Dances. They played that at Sylvester. Holla at your boy. I don't think we went school, back. That <laughs> was middle school for me. <laughs> yeah. um, but, but no, like I had been, I went to Costa Rica when I was 13. Damn. Um, by myself. Well, with other kids, but no, I, I didn't know anybody. But I went and one of the, we stayed in a bunch of different like hotels. One of the places we stayed, it was this hotel. And then across the parking lot was like this party villa. Right. Where... College students and adults were partying, drinking, dancing. Mm-hmm. And we were like, we're going to go. And the chaperones that were there were like, all right. And uh, so we, 13, you know, we were 12, 13, 14, mm-hmm. that, that age range. We mm-hmm. went over and we was like, hey, now we didn't get any drinks, but we were dancing. And I, I, there was a, she looked black, but I assume she wasn't black. It was in Costa Rica. I assume she was dark Mexican. Um dancing mm-hmm. and she was all up I was like hey 13 <laughs> ah, she was probably grown as hell so mm. that was the first time I really because I didn't dance at any of the middle school dances because oh, no, I was me. really I was not a confident no, kid and I didn't have any swag you and, couldn't get me no. off that you couldn't get me off that dance floor bro that's anybody that know me would tell you like and all they always wanted to battle me though everybody always wanted to, it was my other homeboy always wanted I remember he when he first battled me, I remember that it was at the Decca dance and it was outside because the Decca Commons was outside and he wanted to battle me to some, to that, uh, that, uh, that rock, rock, planet rock, don't stop, that came on and then he wanted to battle me and we was going Wait, back. Wait, this was these... a school dance? Yeah. What kind of music y'all playing? They were, they were... Sylvester, where is that? Uh, it's in Burien. Okay. Okay. I just, I'm, that's the second song. I'm like, we... We would never have anything like we never had dance battle songs playing. Anything that would not even breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Stupid. That hey, what'd you think about that movie? Oh, 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 you got served? Yep. Nigga. Um hold on. As a movie. As a as a movie. As a movie. As a whole. Okay, because I <sighs> Don't don't separate any parts as a whole. What'd you think? We'll do the separating parts in a minute, but as a whole. Okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't. This is fucked up because I never was ever asked me this question. So, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. The acting was terrible. No, you're breaking it down. Hold on. Okay. No, I'm going to ask a more general question, and then we'll get to that. Okay. More general. Okay. We got five records. Uh-huh. How many records? One record to five records. Five, five being the best. Yes. Okay. How many records does You Got Served get as a movie? As a movie as, in general. In general. And then we'll go, we'll break down. So, okay. Do, are we doing point, point five points? Nah, you point, can't play no, half a record. No half a, Okay, you can't play half a, ooh, Damn it. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay. Um... Look, I love movies, okay? I know a good movie when I see it. Okay? I'm not being delusional. A solid... Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you. We're not going to do halves, but here's a creative way to break it. We're going to do 12-inch records. Uh But if you want a half, then you can go to a 45. Okay. So you can say 
Uh, I'll take give it two twelve and inches a and a forty five. Okay, okay, I got you. Ooh, Just okay. keep it records. Like that. Keep it records. <laughs> I got that. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna give it a give me three twelve and a forty five. Three twelve and a forty five. Three twelve and a forty five as a whole. As a whole, in general, because in, in general, as okay. A whole. I'm gonna give it. As a whole, I'm giving it two records. Two. Okay, that's that's okay. That's too low. But tell me why. That's because even for that movie, that's everything too low. about that movie fucking sucked, <laughs> except the dancing. That's why. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see you. Right. I see you. Right now, I raise you. For what it was, the dancing counteracts everything else. The plot, although far fetched, it works to a degree, but it works. Now, it could have just been, it couldn't have even been that deep. It could have just been two dance crews competing against each other, and that was the base of the storyline. None of that sideways you can't date my sister shit or you get to get this money for this drug dealer killer so you're gonna get done with all without all of that Squeezing his knee all hard. now take that out and just been about two dance crews dancing you can keep the betrayal in the middle of the shit you know what i'm saying you can keep that part you can keep the relationship between the two main characters you know what i'm saying you can keep that too that internal battle or whatever but let that be it it'll be a better movie because then they don't have to act much. You know what I'm saying? He sold us out. <laughs> Sonny sold, sold us out. He's <laughs> no, taking our moves. <laughs> In the middle of the battle. Up. Hey, what I tell y'all. No fight. What I say. <laughs> huh? <laughs> like, ah, oh, man. Come on, man. I, the acting was abominable. Oh. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was terrible. But, um, it's, but the, the dancing, it, the dancing makes it. Makes it cool because here's the thing, Breaking, I love Breaking. Breaking is one of the best dance movies ever. Horrible acting, <laughs> but because of that movie being so iconic for what it was, that's why that gets it like a four. See, and, uh, four twelve and a forty five. And for what me. happens is is these movies will come out at least back in the day. Now because the internet, we see everything so fast. We see life as it is. So who needs the the written script when we see life? But back then, wow, I feel like we're old now. Oh, man. Um, but back then, this movie would drop, and it was like, yo, it was all about the dancing. And yes, we all knew then it wasn't a great movie, but the dancing, again, it was so in our face. And mm-hmm. that was, so I think we pumped it up in our head to be a better overall movie than it was because of the dancing. No, the dancing's still great, but the movie overall was still ass. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? That's one of those movies where. We know it's ass, but when it's on, it'll get played. You know, you know what I'm saying. And that's the thing is, the dance, the the as good as the dancing was, right? It, for me, it does not outweigh the rest of the movie because mm-hmm. there wasn't enough dancing to outweigh the bad acting. As good as it was, there wasn't enough of it. We needed more. There needed to be. I have to fast forward too much, okay? Uh-huh. And then, you know what? The last dance sequence, the yeah. last one, yeah. was my least favorite. Yeah, mine too. My least favorite. Yeah. But yeah. actually, um, because I was big into uh, like dance crews back in the day when uh, when America's Best Dance Crew was still on. Oh yeah, yeah. You know the Jabberwockies. I'm, I'm saying, saying bring that that's, show back. That's I the actually season, love that. That's show. The only I love that I show. Watched. Look, I'll, I'm gonna keep it real, 100. That's the, one of the shows I can say I really from MTV. Yeah. Other than Wildin' Out, that I can say I really, really, really love that. What's crazy is show. I literally yesterday just <laughs> YouTube some Jabberwocky stuff. That's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. It, it was brilliant for what it was. You feel me? Yeah, man. Uh, and I'm saying like that movie. Like, for one, I bring it up to say, because in the movie, one of my favorite dance crews, uh, the Beat Freaks, mm-hmm. was in the movie. Yeah. And I recognize them, like, oh, because they're doing that old school pop lock shit that I love so much. And I'm like, that right there makes me like, th- that's, that's another reason why I really like this movie. Yeah. I could, the way the dancing was and how the performances were, 
I can look past the the acting and just accept it for what it, what it is. I mean, and the won't, opening I won't call sequence. It, I won't ever call it trash because I at the end of the day I did enjoy the movie. I didn't enjoy it, but well, okay, I enjoyed it for the comedy because I would be like, bro, uh, uh, what's her name? Was um, Megan Good? Yeah. She can act for real. Actually, a lot of these people in that movie could act. Maybe it was the director. Maybe it was the cameras they used. I'm not sure, but everybody looked terrible as far as acting goes. <laughs> Even Megan Good, and she is good at acting. And the girl, Megan, great. The, the the sister, the the love interest. What was she on? The fame. What was what, oh, what show oh, was she on? Oh, she was on uh, My Wife and Kids. Okay, she looked lost in this movie. She did. Did she have a lazy eye? No, she oh, looked lost. No. Yeah, she did. She did look kind of like I don't know what I'm doing. Please help me. <laughs> and and Omarion can't act. That's that's in anything I've seen him in. Uh huh. Well, I've seen him in this and Fat Albert. I don't know if I've seen him in anything else. Okay, what's okay? Um, what's a what's a what's a what's a movie that you love? But not necessarily all black people love too. Like a, a movie that we kind of forgot about, but we've probably seen it at least once. Jeez. Um, a black movie? Yeah. Not necessarily. Yeah, uh, yeah, a black movie. Ah, uh, dang! I don't. Man, you should have gave me some 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 lead, some lead time. Here, I'll, I don't know. Look, yeah, I'll, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you mine. Freaking uh, biker boys. I think I've seen that once. With, uh, when you Dick, talk about with, the, I, yeah, see what I'm saying? With like Lawrence Fishburne, Derek Luke, uh, yeah. uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Megan Good. It was about the about the motorcycle gang. I can really with only. Kid Rock was in it. I see the John cover Mahasu. of the. Yeah, like, uh, that's all I really remember. But you probably only seen it once, right? Yeah. That movie right uh, there, like I love that movie. The soundtrack was great too. Like I love that movie. I don't know. We were talking about making good, and like when I when I, when I think about making good, that movie co- is the first thing that comes to mind, regardless of anything else she's been in. When I think about making good, the first thing that comes to mind is Friday, <laughs> which is weird. Friday. That's, that's that, crazy. That was her first movie, and you not even recognizable. But now, I don't now, know she's, why. now she's making great. <laughs> uh, um. All right, let's let's jump. None of that was on the docket. We just went. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. this is what happens uh, when you have chemistry like us. Yes, chemistry and calculus. And calculus and yeah, algebra too. <laughs> What's first on the docket, um, my good sir? First of all, we've got to talk about uh, Dave Chappelle. Oh yeah, man. Um, being attacked. Attacked. Okay. First thing I want to say. Uh huh. I don't want anybody trying to equate this. Dave Chappelle attack with Will Smith and Chris Rock. Yeah. Because to me, they are different. I mean, they're the same as far as the person who went on stage and assaulted somebody was wrong. Mm -hmm. They're the same in that. But they are not the same situation scenario. Mm -hmm. We know why Uh Will did what he did. Not to say it was right, but we knew why and we could understand. They're not the same thing. Um, this guy <laughs> got his ass whooped. You got knocked That's the, the punchline. <laughs> this dude got his ass whooped, and I loved it. I wish that there was clearer camera footage. He got his whole ass whooped, and that was some funny shit to see. Yes. Because that security molly whopped this nigga. Wait, see, well, first of all, security ain't shit <laughs> at, at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. First of all, how did the dude get it? I don't care. So he had. They said he had a gun that was a knife. Then they said it was a starter pistol that had a knife in it. Then they said it was plastic, but the police never confirmed it was plastic. Mm-hmm. Either way, mm-hmm. he definitely had a shank oh, yeah. with some kind of gun lo- yeah. on him. Yeah, made it into the Hollywood Bowl. Mm-hmm. That's a problem. <laughs> made it. Down all the way to the stage. Mm-hmm. That's a problem. Big, big problem. Got on the stage. Mm-hmm. Rushed Dave. Mm-hmm. Actually made contact and knocked him over. Mm-hmm. Security, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. What if that man had the knife out? I'm saying. 
ain't shit. Like you would think that security would beef up for stand up comedians after the slap shit. I don't know why it was different at the Hollywood Bowl, but he got his whole ass whooped. And then they had this nerf. I think they did this shit on purpose. That's why I said they ain't shit for this. I don't care. His arm, whole arm was broken. Yeah. And they handcuffed the broke arm. Yeah. You got to know it. I said Petty is a motherfucker. Cause they his because whole otherwise arm, it would have been hanging off the side of the gurney. He would have been Nigga, hit. he had a chicken wing for an arm. Hey. And he and they had he, Tony Baker said it the best. He said, Boy, they ripped that man's arm off and then stuck it back on his ass. <laughs> 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 ah, shit. <laughs> oh damn. And I and I love that Dave called out Ooh. the comedian the, the people that were there. He said, Hey, where's Jamie? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jamie was like, We fighting? We fighting. Buster was like, we fighting? We fighting. You know? Um, and I thought it was a great, great little jab that Chris Chris was smart because Chris yeah. wasn't even on stage. Uh-huh. He ran on stage just to get to the mic and say, was that Will Smith? Great punch. Great little punch. Great. I thought it was awesome. He just sold a couple hundred million tickets oh, yeah. <laughs> here for his tour. And Dave, Dave did a great job in... So when he got Taka, you could see he did try to grab him. I don't know what was going on on that stage because people started falling and stuff. As soon as that happened, they got up. The dude started to run. Two people came. They both slipped, fell, busted their ass. <laughs> I was like, why are people falling? What's happening? And then the whole thing, and then they was like, hold on, man. Uh, he said two things. He was like, hold on. They whooping his ass. I got to go see this. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes back. He was like, yo, I just stomped a nigga out backstage. <laughs> Always wanted to do that shit. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. You got the L O, and this was the point: is you a normal Dave Chappelle show? Uh huh. They are serious about locking up phones. Yeah. There were phones everywhere. Everywhere. Um. So I'm I'm glad. Was it his show or was he like? I don't think no. It was a Netflix thing. Oh okay. But but under normal circumstances. Um, we wouldn't see Dave on stage and right. something crazy happens. He would, something would happen and he would put it in another Netflix special. Right. I'm glad we got to see. Right. But that also again shows you security ain't shit. Why is everybody recording uh, right. these people's stand up sets? All right. I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm glad it got beat up. It was great and I think the world needed to see it. Right. Like, and I read deeper to it and, and to like he was, I guess, I guess he's like an up and coming rapper. And he's a Trump supporter, and he did it because like he didn't like like Dave Chappelle's uh, comments about Trump and shit. And and and, and hey, brother man, or uh, you know, I don't know because I don't know if he is trans because that was the whole thing. <laughs> but um, listen, you can fully not like think. you can fully not like. I didn't read that part. Yeah, well, because Dave first had made he was like. He said it was a trans man that came back, you know. Oh, shit. I didn't read that part. But but you can feel all the ways oh. you want. But see, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all going and trying to get buck with these people, you're going to get your ass whooped upon. They're going to beat your ass with your own arm. Uh, oh, <laughs> man. So, oh, that's you funny. You got to just that keep that kid in mind. Fucking funny. Um, oh, shit. I didn't even know that was actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's about it, right? Yeah. Okay. All um, right. Real, real quick question before we get to the next topic. Yeah. Who's in your Mount route? Ra- who is in your Mount Rushmore of cereal? Captain Crunch or the regular? Uh, yes, regular. Uh, Ma- Mahershala Magellan, whatever his name is. Um, Mahershala Magellan. Magellan. Captain Crunch's real name is. Mahershal Magellan Crunch something Magellan seriously yeah it's I weird. never I never knew that. Um, okay it's a Captain Crunch so Captain Crunch yes uh Honey Nut Frosted Flakes mm. um them joints was fire them them shit <laughs> you know 
I'm struggling. I don't know if I'm not going to turn my Crunch, uh, honey nut, frosted flakes. I'm not gonna turn my back. I'm gonna stay true to who my is. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon toast crunch. Mm-hmm. And damn man, this is a, this is a hard ass. I question. might have to go with Lucky Charms, man. Ooh. Lucky Charms. Might have to go with Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms is in my. Is you know, because 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 it, it could have been it could have been if it was still around the right. Rice Krispie Treat cereal. Right. Oh. I used to fuck that up back in the day, but I ain't yeah. seen it in that uh, decades. So. So mine. I'll put uh. That last one you said. Uh. That last Lucky one Charms? you said. Lucky Charms. I'll put Lucky Charms up there. I'll put. Cinnamon Toast Crunch up there. I'll put peanut butter crunch up there. And sugar snacks. Really? Nigger. Only reason the reason why they're snacks. the reason why they're in my in my top in my round rush more because I've had all four of those in one bowl once. Nah. I I thought about a, doing that. We had a little of each one and I say, you know what? No. I put them all four. It was like it was like freaking uh Voltron. Came together, nigga, like the no, Power no. Rangers and the Megazord shit. I can't. No, that don't even sound I good. Was, it, it, it was. I'm so trying to evolved. think of all the different flavors mixed together, and I'm like, ugh. It tastes like what the Powerpuff Girls are made of. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the Powerpuff Girls to be made out of the same thing that Peeps are made out of. Ugh. Just saying. Peeps are disgusting. They are. So I don't know why you're trying to eat Powerpuff Girls. Yuck. Yuck. Um, all right, I think there was one more thing. A bucket list. Bucket list. Yeah. Okay. Bucket list. Man, so I'm gonna say R.I.P. to uh, Don Dudley. Uh, dude, dude named Don Dudley. Another guy named Jerry Elliott. Both passed this past week. Um, with that got me thinking, well, I always be thinking about this, but bucket list. Before you kick the bucket, as they say, Mm -hmm. um, what are some things you want to do, accomplish, get, you know, experience? Right. Um, I got a list of stuff, but I've tried to just pick off five. Mm -hmm. So let's just do a list of five things. Okay. Five things on our bucket list. Okay. And then we'll do honorable mentions if you have anything on your bucket list that you've crossed off. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Um, hold on. Let me find my bucket list. Okay. I'll kick it off. Um, so one thing on my bucket list is to travel t- and stay in Santorini, Greece. In the villas with the swim out pool mm-hmm. and all that. I'm talking the that shit place. I see online. That place is beautiful. That's um, for a week, two weeks, two weeks probably, mm-hmm. in the nice weather with no tourists except for me and my lady because we want to walk around butt naked. Okay, come mm-hmm. okay, oh, in the nude. Okay, man, you can see our public hairs. Oh, come okay. on, come on, guy. Well, man, she looking at me crazy. Number, <laughs> f- number five on my list. Number five. Go to WrestleMania. WrestleMania? Yes. I am a huge wrestling fan. And I want I've been to a live taping of a, of of Monday Night Raw. Mm-hmm. This year I'm going to a live taping of of, of Friday Night SmackDown. And I want to go to WrestleMania. Okay. One time because I, and I want to have the full like, West WrestleMania experience. Like I want to have meet and greets. I want to go to the all access stuff and see all the behind the scenes shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want a chair. I, like, I want all that shit. You ever try to go to the uh, Comic Cons where the wrestlers be? That's my honorable mention. I've never been, but that's one. That's another thing. That's, that's like six on my I list. I was gonna say because those seem more accessible. Yeah, I want I want to cosplay and go to uh and go to Comic Con. It's weird. The older I get, the more I'm like. I mean, I, 
If I find a good enough costume, I might go. Right. Before, I would see these people downtown walking. I'd be like, you weird mobiles. But now, <laughs> I'm the weird mobile. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Next one. I want to do, I don't know how to say it. Luge. Okay. Uh-huh. Downhill go-kart. And all you can do is steer. They, there's no engines. And you get in the little car. It, it, I don't know. It's weird. But I want to do it. I don't know oh, any way so. other than explain it. Look up L-U-G-E. Luge. And I want to do that. I've wanted to do that ever since I was a child. Never have. And it just looks like so much fun. Probably now as an adult, I probably don't weigh the right dimension. Then I'll probably flip myself over on it. <laughs> but I still want to go. <laughs> I still, I still want to do it. But okay. I, next on my list is... Go to a Super Bowl. I wanna, nice. I wanna experience a whole. I wanna sit fifty yard line. I want my. I hope. Hopefully, when I do go, my favorite team is there. But if not, it's any whoever is playing. I wanna go to a Super Bowl. I wanna experience everything. The whole weekend too. Like I wanna, I want some. Uh, like I want some stories. Like I wanna go to a Super Bowl and just. Go the fuck off. You feel yeah, me? I feel you. I, I don't. I mean, yeah, that'd be cool. Right. I think we were going, me and me and my girl, we were going to go to the Super Bowl in Arizona when the Seahawks were playing. Mm-hmm. Well, we were going to go to Arizona right. uh, <laughs> and just do the parties. But uh, things went wrong. Uh-huh. Credit card was not doing what I needed it to do. Oh, so we couldn't even get the card. Lord. It was all bad. But, yeah, I don't think I would want to go to a Super Bowl unless my team was playing because there would be festivities that uh-huh. I'm like, man, I don't even know what everybody's celebrating. I don't know who that fool is. <laughs> see, see, I love – I'm such a football fan that I don't care who's playing. If it's football, I'm in the house. I, 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 went, to, I went to my high school's uh, football games last season. So much fun. I keep – every year – I say, I'm going to go to my school's homecoming game, and I'm going to wear my Letterman jacket. Never. <laughs> never go. I don't even have my Letterman jacket. I think my dad has it now. Oh, man. He paid for it, and his, you know, his mm-hmm. last name on it. Okay, yeah. next one. What's next on your list? I want to go again a week, two weeks, to the Maldives. The Maldives. Okay, now the Maldives, if y'all don't know... Is in the Maldives. I don't know where it's at. But you go, and it's the places that got the huts over the water. Mm-hmm. The joint. Oh, man. And the dock. And the, you can jump right off into I want it. I want it. You know what's crazy? My, my bucket list doesn't have any exotic places to go to because I don't like nature. Like, I don't like mountains. I watch too many nature specials. I'm fat, and I have a bum knee. If there's anything bigger than me that wants to eat me, it's God's will. Something will have to, Captain America will have to come out of nowhere and save me for me to walk away that day. I mean, I feel you though. I do. Because I went to Costa Rica and nature was everywhere and I was attacked and I didn't like it. So I get it. I can't do nature. I get it. Jumanji messed me up, man. Because I swear to God, I swear if I ever see a mosquito as the size of my head, Put your head between your legs. You must, not, you must not have been to North Carolina. Let me tell you something. The summers over there are ass. Because uh, <laughs> the bugs come out looking for eyeballs to eat. <laughs> uh, no. Um. Yeah, Maldives. Okay. Doing that. Next on my bucket list is I want to own a Dodge Challenger slash Charger. That's on my bucket list. I've wanted one since they first came out and got remodeled like i wasn't a huge fan of the older model chargers until uh-huh. i seen the newer model chargers and then i had to go back to the old school and see where it came from oh so i see where they got the idea from yeah i want one of those so badly like i swear i want one i want one that's so dream bad car? that's my dream car that is my dream car a challenger yes i mean okay that's my dream that's my what color? Oh, uh, red. Red, I assume. Come on now. All right. All or, right. Or black, but red. It has to be at the interior. Red guts. Yep. Um. 
All right, my next one is to have a Bentley GT Coupe. Oh. That's one of my dream cars. That was my first dream car. Mm -hmm. The Bentley, I mean, it's just sexy. It's it's just, (laughs) that's the closest thing to touching private parts. (laughs) The Bentley Bentley GT Coupe, oh my damn. Yeah. Nigga, I will put carpet in my garage. All right. Nigga said he'll put carpet in his garage I'm putting safe for his bags. car, people. I'm putting Safeway bags around the tires when I drive so them bitches don't get dirty. That's ridiculous. Uh, Bentley GT Coupe. That's oh, my God. Fight me. Okay. No, that hell, the Hellcat is, is, that's what it is for me. Like, the Hellcat's the sexiest car ever. I love that bitch. Seriously. I've already, I've already told you the sexiest car Yo, ever. Number two on my list is I want to go to Vegas. And I don't want to just go to Vegas. I you wanna, still ain't, oh, you haven't been. I still ain't been. Oh, my God. I, I don't want to just go to Vegas. I want to experience Vegas. Yes. I want to go for a weekend. I want to do some hangover shit. I want to wake up. I want a tiger. Hangover for three days. Okay. That's but when I wake up, when I wake up, I want to have a tiger in my bathroom. I want chickens in, flying around in my fucking room and shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I want broken glass and shit. I want y'all niggas looking for me. I want to be on the roof of Listen, this bitch. Listen, let me tell you something. What I'm not finna do. <laughs> every Listen, because Vegas, honestly, now is my second home. That's the place I've traveled to the most uh-huh. out of all of my traveling. I have a rule in Vegas, and it is simply I'm not babysitting. That is, I, I can't. Okay. Because I be turned too. Okay, so so if you woke up and I was missing, nigga, you ain't going to be like, hey, where the fuck did Tim go? I mean, if you didn't show up for the plane and we all had the same thing. That's what we're really, yeah, listen, probably. when we get to we airport never, time and then it was like, oh, this nigga really Okay, can't. remind me never to go to Vegas with your ass. <laughs> nigga. You listen, gonna, and I you go with get, groups and we have fun. But here's the thing is it's so easy to get turned and that's cool. But the problem is you grown when man. people start going off and doing things, it'll be like, yo, I don't fuck my high up. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's all. That's that's fair. <laughs> that's all. Okay. That's fair. Last one on my and I mine weren't in any particular order, but last one on my bucket list is perform in a packed stadium slash arena. Hmm. And I, perform what? An original song? No, I mean period? have my own concert. Oh, okay. My whatever I'm doing, boom, arena tours. Mm-hmm. Stadium might be a little far fetched. Arena though, um, yeah. I love Nigga, the when you go when you go on tour, you should do a cover of the theme song from Shaft when you open up. That'd be dope. What? Yeah, you just come out. My opening, my opener. I think. So far is going to be the the doing the butt, with, but with the uh, the way uh well, I was about to call her Shanti Fantasia Uh-oh. did it. That's gonna be cause that them drums kick. Ha! Doom! Doom! Yay! Yay! Oh come on, man. <laughs> um. All right. What's your last one? My last one is go to a uh, Bucks home game. Have you ever been to one? No. I've been to a Seahawks game. Yeah, but I've never been to a Bucks game at home. Coincidentally, the first Seahawks game I went to, the Bucks were playing. Did they get beat? Yeah. Amen. The first time, the second time we lost. The first time we got beat. The second time we got lost. We lost. It's a difference. See, that's that. Them the dumb questions There's that they, they be asking Russell Westbrook. So, did you guys win this or did they lose this game? <laughs> that's not a dumb question. What? We, if, Y'all niggas tripping, man. That's not a dumb question. That you gotta is. Look, no, it's not. You got to look at it from a sports person point of view, which you are not, I'm guessing. The sports person point of view should be who won the sport. Okay, who won, but did it, did they win because they were that good, or did they win because the other team but the thing sucked? Is, I, I get the uh, essence of the question, but why ask that to the person who won? They're not going to say... Oh, we played trash. We got lucky. They're not going to say that. And if you're expecting them to say that, you're dumb, dumb. They're going to say, well, the right answer for most people in that is we won that. But the real answer 
Which what Russell was shit. Russell Westbrook said, What? Nigga, you tripping. Anyway. That's the real answer. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I was I'm hoping to get the hope this this year for my birthday. I was hoping to go I was hoping to see the Bucks versus the Seahawks in Tampa, but they fucking ran and made them play in Germany this year. Oh, is that what they're doing? Yeah. So now I have to see them play somebody else. But they're I really wanna, trying to expand. I want to see them. I want to see them. Pl- I want to see them play before Tom Brady retires because I need to see Tom Brady play in person. I'm sorry. Is he? Wait, he didn't retire already? No, he came back. Where you been? I don't care about Tom Brady. He, he retired. Back like yeah, two days. he retired for like, like was it like two weeks or something. So Michael Jordan did. Yeah, it was like he was retired for maybe two weeks and then came back. And he retired and then it was like, okay, we'll give you the money. And he was like, all right. Oh, Lord. This ain't going to be no Tom Brady hate on this podcast right now. Well, it wasn't, but since you want to look, 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 it can be something. No, it ain't going to be nothing. Listen, I'll say this. Tom Brady, dope football player. I mean, there's you can't deny that. I like him. His face looks privileged and I want to punch it. Yeah, well, if he was putting on a Seahawks uniform, you wouldn't be saying shit. I probably wouldn't in either way yeah, because the Seahawks kind of, I they just, I'm not feeling them. I haven't felt them for like the last three years, so. Really? Yeah. You ain't seen me talk about the Seahawks? What kind of fan are you? One fair, that likes to weather. win. I'm a, fair weather. Um, no, I just, they're not interested. What do you want me to be interested when I'm not? Wow. What am I supposed to do? Okay, so yeah, you're a Seahawks fan. You're not a football fan. I got you. Yes. Oh, that's a perfect way to put it. Yeah. Um, but I'm not, a, you know, I am invested. I'm tatted for life. So I love the Hawks, but they're not, I just don't have a reason to root. Yeah, well, now that Russell Wilson's gone and Bobby Wagner, you won't have another reason and to Bobby root Wags, for Bobby Wagner, Bobby Swagner, that was my guy, man. That yeah. was my guy. You will not see another Seahawks postseason for a good three years. Probably. Yeah, I'm you. No argument. See, I'm a realist. I can be real. Um, I just to, like I need to have my sports show. R. Kelly trash. Oh, so okay. Uh, well, here, let's do this. We we good? Yeah, we good. I want I want to talk about something. Uh-huh. Um, all right. Thank y'all for joining us. Uh, as always, please like, like and subscribe share, to the YouTube subscribe. channel. Share the channel. Share the lives. We film on Wednesdays. Yes. And uh, join the Patreon, join the Loud family. Patreon. Shout out to our first. We got our first patron. We do. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I didn't. Oh man, my fault. That was messed up. That was last week. It came in. I didn't even tell you. Hold on. I'm gonna shout you out. Even though you're not in the tier that gets you the shouts out, you are our first one, and you but you finna get it. Go ahead. Malia Lopez. Hey. Shout out to you. You are one of our play cousins. Hey, play cousins. Welcome to the loud family. Welcome to the loud family. Hope you're enjoying um, the content that is up and is going to keep coming. You guys join the loud family. Come to this reunion and get on with us. Okay. 